record it first. Oh, sorry. This call is now being recorded. Okay, this call, the call is now being recorded. Okay, never mind. Okay, I continue again. Eh? I, I, I continue. I repeat again. Limitation meaning what what are the uh, sensory organ that we cannot do? Okay, for example, the sense of sight by using our eyes, we cannot see distant object. For example, number one. Or number two, we cannot see very, very small object. And then what else do you think? The limitation of our eye. Anybody can tell me what are the limitation of our eye? The other limitation. What our eye cannot do? Uh, cannot see the yes. darkness. Cannot see the cannot see the what? Uh, too bright. Yes, of course. We also cannot see very good. It is correct. We cannot see something that is too bright. Okay, and also we cannot see um in the dark okay that is our limitation uh, the human eye limitation is about that okay so so today we are going to learn how do limitation of senses number one limitation number two the defects in sensory organ okay what do you mean by defects defects mean what this one sorry okay defects uh, defects mean there is a something wrong with the sensory organ. Okay, maybe uh, for example, do you have an what we call an accident? Huh? Uh, our eyes, for example, maybe what we call um, not working properly. Okay, defects mean not working properly. Huh? Sudah rosak lah, senang begini lah. Uh, the sensory organ, for example, our eyes, our tongue, our ear is already broken. Uh, this sudah rosak. Boleh tak repair? Uh, the, the question here, whether we can uh, repair or we can what we call, um, not repair lah. Repair itu macam benda kan. Uh, boleh orang kata, boleh memperbaiki. Okay. The defects, what we call in sensory organ. Okay. Can we try to what we call um, correct the defects in sensory organ? And then number three, and then next one, the aging effects on human hearing and sight. And then what, hap what happened when we are go growing older? Okay, what happened to our hearing and what happened to our sight as we grow older? Okay, whether we can see clearly or not during the aging process, meaning that when we are getting old, uh, apabila sudah tua, what happened to our sight? Okay, and our our hearing. Okay, wait, that's what we're going to learn for uh, for this topic. Okay. Okay, number one is the limitation of sight. Apakah dia dikata dikatakan terhad? What is the limitation of sight? Okay, what is the limitation? Is the limitation of the ability of eye to see object. Like I said earlier, we cannot see very tiny object. Microorganism, we cannot see. And also, we cannot see very distant object. For example, we want to see the planet Jupiter, uh, out, out, uh, outer space. We cannot see very distant object. We cannot see a very tiny object. And that is what we call by limitation. And then others' limitation include what we call an optical illusion and, and blind spot. And these are the limitation in what we call the limitation in the sight. Okay, we take a look one by one. First, what is optical illusion? Can you give me a
Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, we go to optical illusion. What is optical illusion? For example, okay, you see here we have three type of diagram here. And then all these three diagram is what we call an optical illusion. We see the first diagram here. Eh? See the first picture over here. Okay. If I ask you between these two uh, diagram here, two object here, object PQ, two line, eh? two line here, PQ and RS. Okay. Which one do you think has the longer line, PQ or RS? Which has the longer line? PQ. Okay. According to the picture here, PQ seems longer. The line of P and Q, the line from P and Q seems longer than R and S, right? Okay. So you have textbook with you, right? Kamu ada buku text, eh? Okay. Actually, and then, and then R and S look shorter. Okay. Why is this happening? This is what we call an uh, optical illusion. This is optical illusion. Actually, if you take a ruler and then you try to measure the line P and Q, P to Q, and then R to S is the same line. Okay? The distance or the length of the line is same. P, Q, and R, S. But our, this is what we call optical illusion. Yeah? Our eye and then our brain interprets the line PQ is longer than RS. Actually, the, the what we call, uh, actually both line, both line actually same length. Panjang dia sama sebenarnya ya, tapi kita tengok PQ lebih panjang daripada RS. This is example of what we call optical illusion. Uh, that's, we, uh, that's what we call it illusion. Uh, illusion ni macam magic. Ha, macam uh, silap mata. It is not true. But your brain interpret it as true. Uh, this is illusion, what we call. Okay, this is uh, example number one. Okay, you go to the example number two, the picture next to it. Okay, I will try to zoom it. And this is the second picture between X and Y. Okay, between X and Y here. You can see here uh, which one has the, what we call, seems to be a larger circle. Circle X or circle Y? Which one do you think has the larger circle? Okay. I think here, circle X is, uh, is much larger. Okay. If you see it carefully, uh, not see carefully, like if you see a glimpse of it, Circle X is much larger or smaller? It's much larger than circle, circle Y. Okay. X here is much larger than circle, circle Y. Okay. But what are the, what we call, what are the real size? Actually, real size is the, the same one. And this is because of the optical illusion also. Okay. Okay. We go to the third picture here. Uh, this is the third picture. Uh, all right. Okay, this one is the third picture. Okay, example here. You see the straight line on the on the square or bent line? Okay, here. Uh, this one. First line, it seemed to be what? It looks like bent, kan? Dia nampak macam bengkok. Uh, dia nampak macam ini saja. Okay, dia nampak macam bengkok sedikit kan? But actually, it is straight line. If you don't believe me, you take the ruler and then you look at the, you just measure inside your textbook. Actually, the square here is a very, very straight line. Okay, but because of the circle surrounding it, it looks like the square is bending. Okay, this is the example of what we call a optical optical illusion okay this example of optical illusion and then there are many all right there are many type of optical illusion okay in the world you maybe uh, you can uh, go to the internet and then you can search optical illusion search search for the image okay 
you try to search for the image and there are many others uh, what we call uh, optical illusion in the world okay for example i try to uh, search optical illusion eh? uh, as you stop presenting okay for example optical illusions ah, okay you can see the image here right there are many right you can see the my presentation right there are many optical illusion here uh, that you can see uh, this is most um uh, this one is the most what we call uh famous one lah this one eh? oh, I'm you that. Uh, this one is very famous picture uh, this one the picture very famous can you see the the image uh, boleh nampak tak gambar ni gambar apa ni what picture is this a woman a woman young woman or old woman i see And young woman you see young woman like i also see young woman but there is some if you ask someone else they say got also old woman here Uh, can you uh, identify the old woman? Huh. Uh, can you see the old woman here? Uh, huh? Some people may say it as uh, uh, old woman and then some people may see it as young woman. Okay. So where is the uh, old woman actually? Okay. If old woman, uh, this is the eye over here. Uh, this is the eyes and then very big nose this one a uh, very big nose can you see the the uh the cursor and then we have mouth here uh, this is the old woman all right this is also what we call by an optical optical illusion okay and then you can see there is very much what we call um uh, optical illusion so many optical illusion you can see here eh, in here Uh, for example, this one, the also very famous one. Uh, for example, this one. Very slow. Huh? Ah, for example, this one. Huh? You can see what? Can you see, you can see bird or you can see rabbit? <laughs> Okay, or you can see both. Uh, uh, this is also what we call an optical illusion. Uh, some some uh, some people some people may see a rabbit, and some people may see a what a bird. Right? Can you see it? Boleh nampak tak ini? Uh, mungkin ada yang kata oh ini adalah arnab, dan ada yang kata oh this is not arnab. Ini bukan arnab. Arnab ni adalah burung kepala burung. This is also what we call by optical illu illusion. Is it okay? Boleh faham ini? Boleh. Okay, very good. Okay, so I stop presenting. Kita saya sambung balik. The windows. Mm, okay, this one. Okay, saya sambung. Okay, so ini you boleh, ini you boleh ni ya, boleh apa itu um, baca lah kemudian ya. Okay, tunggu sekejap ya, saya ada ada call sekejap sekejap saja.
Okay, sorry. Are you still there? Okay, never mind. Eh? Um, we just continue our lesson for today. So this one, you can read it for yourself. Actually, uh, if the first uh, optical illusion we said there eh, earlier, uh, PQ and RS line is actually the same. Eh? We just, uh, you know, because of the optical illusion, because of our eye cannot interpret, uh, not, sorry, <clears throat> Because our brain cannot interpret the actual size or the actual line, so we can see both of the line PQ is longer than RS. Actually, the line is the it's the same. Yeah? Okay. So next one is what we call by blind blind spot. Okay. All right. So you refer to the refer to the blind spot shown in the figure, and then why the image that fall on the blind spot invisible. Okay. You can do it on your own, all right? You hold the book with your right hand and straighten your arm. You can see, uh, you can do it on your own later. Uh, later after the class, you can, you can do the activity, yeah? Hold the book with your right hand and straighten your arms, number two. You cover your left eye and look at the cat in figure 1.12 uh, with your right eye. Okay. And then move the book slowly towards your eye. And then does, does the bird disappear from your sight or no? Okay. You can see it. Uh, you can do the activity on your own. You just follow the instruction carefully. All right. And then. And then. Uh, one of the object here, whether it is um, birds or the cat, will disappear. Okay, will actually disappear from the from your eye. Okay, and then after after this, uh, after you do the experiment, uh, you can uh, ask me. Okay, and then you tell me whether you can see or you cannot see the object here, the birds here. Uh, if you do it correctly, if you do it correctly according to the to the step here, the bird image here will be disappear from your eye. Okay, uh, this is because what? Uh, because uh, there are uh, the blind spot in our eye. There is a blind spot. Uh, you cannot because the image of the bird um, touch the blind spot. Then you cannot see the cannot see the birds. Right? Okay. After this, you can do this. Eh? After the after the class. Right? Okay. Next one. So, what are the device to overcome the, the limitation of sight? Uh, this one, this, one, this also you can read it for yourself. All right. For example, binocular. You use binocular to, to, to see or to view the distant object, right? Like microscope, uh, microscope, uh, microscope, you use the microscope to, so, to see the tiny object or to see the microorganism. Okay, and then how about the electron microscope? Uh, electron, micro, uh, electron microscope is one of the microscope that can see very, very tiny object like a virus. Uh, virus is very, very small. Uh, if you compare bacteria with virus, virus is much, much smaller than bacteria. So we need electron microscope, microscope because this microscope can see into very very tiny object, okay? Sangat yang sangat kecil dia boleh tengok, okay? In our lab, uh, di dalam lab kita biasa we use light light microscope, okay? We are, we uh, we can see bacteria, we can see the cell by using microscope. Okay, next one is ultrasound machine, and then next one is the X-ray machine, okay? X-ray machine we use to to see the object uh, inside the body. Okay. We cannot, uh, because our eye cannot see what inside our body, right? Uh, that is the limitation. We are not Superman. Uh, if you are Superman, you can see uh, inside of the body, but we cannot do that. That is the limitation. Okay. So we need microscope uh, to see very, very small object. We need x-ray to see what inside our body and uh, to scan the, 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 what, the internal organ of our body. Ultra, ultra, ultrasound machine also. We can use ultrasound machine to uh, to scan and then to identify the you know maybe got some problem inside our body, and then the binocular. 
eh, binocular is the tool for us to see very distant distant object here yeah. okay as these are example of device to overcome this one eh, to overcome the limitation okay and this based on our research lah, based on the human research they create the device that can help us overcome the limitation of sight here yeah. okay So I continue with the defect of sight and way to correct them. Okay, this is defects. Huh? This is not the limitation. This is the defects. Defects mean what? Defects mean you cannot, for example, if you have defects in your sight, you have defects on your eyes, meaning that you cannot see normally. Huh? For example, I give you very, very, very what we call simple example. Right now, I am wearing a spectacle, right? Huh? Because why? I cannot see far object. Huh? When I see the very distant object, huh? very blur, I cannot read the book like here, like this. Huh? Uh, I cannot see the book if I'm not wearing spectacle. So, in conclusion, that is, my eyes is got the defects. Okay, mata saya ni sudah rosak lah sedikit, kan? Sebab itu, that's why I need to wear, wear the glasses. Okay, maybe I cannot see distant object uh, because um, I cannot read uh, if the, you know, if the book is uh, maybe a distant from my eye because uh, I, I can uh, see it blurry or maybe um, not just blurry, eh? sometimes we got some shadow or, or like that. Okay, so that is the defects. Okay. Bukan cacat ya, ah, itu lain itu. Yeah, this one is what we call a defect sahaja. Eh? Alright, and then ways to correct them. There are ways. Huh? Ada cara untuk me memperbaikinya atau untuk memperbetulkan dia. Okay, so in this topic, you need to understand there are three defects of sights. Number one, short sightedness number two long sightedness and then number three astigmatism uh, these are the defects uh, normally if there is a defect in the eye it is because of these three defects yeah? short sightedness long sightedness and then astigmatism okay okay so what is the defect of sight and then way to correct them Okay, what is the short-sightedness? Very easy. You cannot see, bukan not to connect, uh, you cannot see the distant object or you can see the distant object blurry. Okay, inability to see distant object. Okay, macam contohnya kamu nak membaca. Kamu nak membaca, kamu buka, kamu nampak huruf itu sangat-sangat kabu. Very blurry. Ha, dia... Kalau jauh, kalau dekat nampak. Huh? Kalau de dekat nampak, tapi kalau kamu baca, macam ini buku. Kalau dekat, dekat kamu nampak. Kalau jauh, tidak nampak. Sebab dia blur. Dekat nampak, jauh tidak nampak. Okay? So, this is what we call a short-sightedness. Okay? Distant object number two, distant object blurry. Why? Because the image is focused in front of the retina. Okay. These are the, uh, the causes of the short-sightedness. And then, why? Because eye lens is too thick or the eyeball is too long. Okay. Uh, this is the, what we call the first defect. We call it short sightedness okay short sightedness okay and then uh, you can see here the picture here can you see the picture here uh, this is uh, the light sources the distant object and then go to the cornea and then go to the lens here right and then you can see here the image from in front of the retina in front of the retina okay in front of the retina the image from here So the the person or the people here has what we call short short sightedness. 
Okay, short sightedness mean it cannot see the distant object or distant object seems very blur. Kalau nampak pergi tengok jauh, ha? kalau tengok jauh nampak kabur saja. Ha? This is the, this is the what we call what happen inside inside the inside the eye. Okay, boleh faham ini ya? Eh? Okay, so how to correct them? Boleh kita boleh memperbaiki. We all we can correct the the short sightedness by using what? Uh, by using what we call concave lens. Gunakan concave lens. So these are the the uh, what we call the repair being done here. Ini cara-cara dia. Alright. You use what? Uh, you use what we call a concave concave lens to correct the uh, to correct the vision here. You use concave lens here. So that why? So that the image that form will form on the retina here. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference here? Uh, this one, the image form in front of the retina. That's why you can see distant object very blur. But after you correct it with the concave lens, the image form on the retina. Uh, the image form here on the retina. So, we can say that it already corrected. Uh, that's why we are using the glasses. Okay. This one, the concave lens. Uh, cermin mata lah. Uh, this is the cermin mata. Cermin mata will correct the what? Uh, will correct the focus and then we can see clearly near object and distant object. Okay. Cermin mata. Biasanya ini kita panggil dia rabun jauh lah ya. Rabun jauh. Dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil dia rabun jauh. Sebab jauh dia tak boleh nampak blur. Dekat dia boleh nampak. Uh, kalau dalam English we call it short, short sightedness. Okay. Biasanya orang muda ya. Uh, ataupun orang macam macam kamu semua yang pakai cermin mata ya. For you ah, uh, who are wearing a spectacle ya. You has what? You think you have long sightedness or short sightedness? Kamu nampak jauh ke? Kamu tak nak? Kamu tak nampak jauh ke? Kamu tak nampak dekat? Nah, siapa yang pakai cermin mata di sini? Usually you, uh, what type of uh, defect? Long or short? Siapa long. yang pakai cermin mata? Ah yes. Long. Long right? Long ah? Long uh, long uh, long sightedness or short sightedness? Ah. Uh, teacher. I yeah. have cataract actually. Huh? I you have? have? You have what? Cataract. Cataract? Yeah. Wow. Already do the operation or not? Uh, already. Oh, so, oh, you are too young yeah, to have cataract. Uh, maybe you got some problem, lah, but never mind. Huh? Cataract is one of the defect also. Yeah? Cataract when your cornea is already, well, not the cornea. Um, the cornea or what? has already been cloudy. That is another defect lah. Eh? The cornea has got some problem. Okay. But in here, in form 3, you just remember only short sightedness, a long sightedness and astigmatism. Okay. So, if a person cannot see distant object or maybe you can see distant object blurry, so you have short sightedness. Usually, young people usually short sightedness because you can see, you cannot see, eh? sorry, you cannot see distant object usually in young person. Okay. For cataract, eh? wow. Cataract usually, eh? a person, a older person lah, eh? but maybe, never mind lah, maybe you have some, uh, what we call, um, um, maybe got some other problems that you can, you need to do the operation eh? to remove the, to remove the what? Parts of the eye, of the lens, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, never mind. Okay. All right. So next one, uh, this one, the first, uh, the first cause is the uh, eyeballs. Eye lens is too thick. All right. Eye long is eye lens is too thick or the eyeball is too long. If you see here, the defects here, both image, 
the image will form on the in front of the retina uh, so that you cannot see the uh, you cannot see or the image you see is blurry okay that's why you need to use what you need to use concave lens to correct the to correct the what we call the vision okay make sure the image from on the retina image form on the retina then you can see clearly the object okay if not you you uh, you cannot see clearly and then the image you see will become blurry yakan kabu okay okay next one long sightedness a uh, long sightedness is the defect when you cannot see or the object you see nearly is blurry again cannot see or inability to see near object ah ini biasanya orang tua lah dia dekat dia tak nampak kalau nak baca buku dekat dia tak nampak tapi kalau jauh dia nampak okey itu opposite lah itu yang terbalik lah ya eh. why because the image focus behind the retina okey uh, caused by what okey caused by eye lens being too thin or eyeball is being too short here nampak beza di sini can you see the the difference between long sightedness and short sightedness this one long eh eye lens too thin because the image from outside eh, the image from outside the retina ha huh? or the eyeball too short also outside of the retina it from here uh, this cannot be okay so how to correct them bagaimana untuk betulkan you need to wear a spectacle okay or you need kamu kena pakai cermin mata yang ada apa you need to wear the spectacle that has convex lens okay you need to have the spectacle made from the convex lens type so that the image will form at the retina huh? from on the retina itself so this one already repair okay and then this one also you use the so the image will form directly onto the retina okay somebody turn on the recording ah huh? huh? No need to touch and no, I think uh, let me record the meeting lah eh because uh, maybe not all of you uh, not all of you able to join the the online class so I need to record it and then later I will save for you to see it later eh huh? or so you can turn off the recording eh yeah. okay Can you understand this? Boleh faham tak ini? Uh, defects in what we call the defects in uh, sight uh, in uh, in the sight, short sightedness, long sightedness. You must able to understand what what happened and then uh, what is the cause and then how to how to overcome the cause. Okay, this one ah, uh. and then the next one, the next uh, defects is what we call astigmatism, uh, as as uh, astigmatism. Okay, what happened in astigmatism? Seeing a part of object clearer than the rest of the object. Uh, this one got defect also, also lah in the eye. Eh? There are many type of defects, but in Form 3, you need to understand these three defects only. Eh? Short-sightedness, long-sightedness, and astigmatism. Okay, astigmatism is like this. Huh? If you can see the figure 1.23 here, kalau kamu tengok gambar ini, eh? can you see all the lines here clearly? Eh? line number one number two number three number four until lines number 12 if you can see all the three line here clearly so you have normal normal vision you did not have any astigmatism but if you maybe yeah, if you cannot see line number nine or line number eight or line number ten you see line number nine line number eight and line number seven you see blurry or you see only one line or you see only two line uh, meaning that your eyes has astigmatism okay uh, if you can see all the three line on both uh, on the respective number yeah, 
Kalau semua nombor, kalau semua garisan, kalau semua garisan pada nombor ini kamu nampak tiga. Tiga. Ha, ini pun tiga. Semua ada tiga garisan. So, mata kamu normal lah. Ha? Kalau ada nampak uh, nombor sembilan ataupun nombor lapan, nampak satu garisan saja. I Meaning that you have astigmatism. Okay. So, why is this happening? Because of the... Um, sorry, because of the what we call a uneven cornea of the eye. Cornea itu sebenarnya rata, but maybe got some defect, dia tidak rata. The cornea, ya. Yeah? Okay, so how do you want to repair it? We are using cylindrical lenses. Gunakan cermin mata, special spectacle which have, which have cylindrical lenses. Uh, these are the picture of the cylindrical lenses. Okay. Tapi apa-apa pun mesti pergi ke jumpa doktor. Nah, doktor orang panggil doktor mata ya. Eh? The eye specialist to see whether you got a problem of, on your eye or not. Okay. Macam tadi ada kawan kita ya. Eh? Your friend you got um, cataract. Okay. Nah, itu the doctor know lah eh? how to how to overcome the defects. Eh? Until you can see normally again. Okay, right. So now it's 12.19. Um, berapa lagi ni? 12.19. Okay, sekejap saja lagi. Last one, last topic for today. Limitation of hear, hearing. Ah, tadi kita belajar tentang limitation of sight. Now it's limitation of hearing. Okay. Apa yang kita tak boleh dengar? Okay. Kita boleh dengar, kita boleh dengar seperti biasa but there are the sound, there are the, there are sound that we cannot hear. Huh? And this is what we call limitation of hearing. Okay. What is the limitation? Is the ability, limitation in ability to hear the sound. Right now, you can hear my voice right through the what? Through the computer or through the smartphone. Kamu boleh dengar suara saya. Okay. Adakah kamu boleh dengar? Can you hear your neighbor voice? Boleh dengar tak suara uh, kawan kamu di rumah sebelah? Boleh dengar? Kamu tak boleh dengar kan? Lainlah kalau kalau dia menjerit, ha? kalau dia shouting then you can hear lah. But if uh, your neighbor uh, talking to each other very small voice, you cannot hear them. Yeah? Unless you are what? Ah, okay, class. Unless you are Superman, right? Uh, kalau Superman, dia boleh dengar. Wah, well, kalau orang jauh pun dia boleh dengar cakap. But we are not Superman. That's why we have limit limitation. Kita ada peng, orang kata uh, what we call limitation, ada hat dia, ya. Yeah? Okay, again. We continue. We can only hear frequency between 20 to 20,000 hertz. Ini saya sudah uh, ajar in dalam form 2. Form 2 kita sudah belajar ini. 20 to 20 hertz. Less than 20 hertz, we cannot see the, we cannot hear the sound. More than 20,000 hertz, we also cannot hear the sound. But there is an animal, ada haiwan yang boleh dengar lebih daripada 20,000 hertz. Can There is an animal that can hear more than 20,000 hertz. For example, what? Cat. Dogs. Huh? Dogs can hear what we cannot hear and that's why sometime in the middle of the night you can see the dog do you you can you can hear the dog barking or howling because it hears something that we cannot hear all right uh, this is our limitation okay i continue the ear are unable to detect sound which lie outside the frequency tak boleh dengar outside the frequency we cannot hear the 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 sound huh? we can only hear 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Okay. And then I continue. The frequency range hearing of every individual is different. When a person get older, the frequency range is narrow, get narrow. Kalau orang tu sudah semakin tua, dia semakin tidak boleh dengar lah. Ha, itu biasa lah. Eh? Because the eardrum inside is become less elastic. If young people like you, you can hear very, very loud and clear. But Please be careful, yeah. Right now, young people I see, yeah, always use the headphone. You know, sometimes the earbuds here, yeah. You put the earphone inside, ah, huh? 
and then you you turn on the volume very strong. Uh, it, it is very not very good um, practice uh, pra uh, practice yeah, because it can damage your eardrum. Okay, yang pakai earphone itu ya, or you 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 wear the you know in in ear. There are headphone yeah, yang dalam telinga itu. Okay, headphone itu. Ah, huh? itu pun tak boleh bahaya. Huh? Kena pasang volume perlahan saja because we do not want your eardrum to become become less elastic or become damaged. Right? Okay. Ni boleh baca sendiri. So next one, what are the device or equipment to overcome the limitation? Of course, if you go to the doctor, doctor want to hear your beat of the heart, you want want to hear your breathing by using a status, stethoscope. Uh, this is what we call a stethoscope. Uh, this doctor selalu pakai lah. They put in, uh, they put the at, at the end of the stethoscope and they put on your chest and then you need to breathe. Uh, the different sound of breathing meaning that there are different type of what we call maybe um, uh, defects inside the inside the lung uh, stethoscope. Okay, and then the second one is what? Uh, the second one is we call it a loudspeaker. Uh, loudspeaker. If you want to talk to a crowd. Ha, ataupun mau bercakap dalam perhimpunan in assembly you need loudspeaker ha, because our our voice is not very strong eh? our our voice cannot uh, what we call um, strong enough to be heard in entire assembly the orang di belakang mungkin tak boleh dengar kalau kita tidak ada speaker so we need a device that we call loudspeaker you got the microphone right and then you got the amplifier and then you got the speaker and then the entire people, every people in the assembly, contohnya ya, kalau semua orang di perhimpunan itu boleh dengar. Ha, tak ada yang tak boleh dengar. Because of the loudspeaker. Right? Ha, ini contohlah ya. Loudspeaker and status ke overcome to overcome our limitation of hearing. Okay? Okay, next, the defect of hearing and way to correct them pun ada rosak ya. Telinga juga boleh boleh jadi rosak. Okay, ini you boleh baca sendiri. Um, kenapa boleh rosak? Okay, tengok di sini ya. Eh. Because infection by microorganism. Ha, mungkin ada jangkitan kuman. Okay. Injury, mungkin ada kecederaan or aging process dan mungkin ada penuaan. Ada tiga sebab. Mungkin ada jangkitan kuman. Injury, kecederaan sebab mungkin kamu ambil kapas, kamu korek-korek ke eh? Ataupun sudah menjadi tua Kalau orang itu menjadi tua If you get older and then you maybe got very less hearing You cannot hear uh, sound very much if you are getting older Kalau sudah tua ya yeah? uh, Injury, uh, ini bahaya Injury also when you wear what? When you wear like I said earlier yeah? When you wear the the what? The um, a headphone ataupun pakai earphone itu itu pun bahaya kalau pakai kuat-kuat eh? alright so how to correct them uh, maybe you go for a cochlear implant you go for operation using a med medicine or surgery or you use a hearing aids ah, nampak ini gambar ini di dalam ini ya ah, dia boleh pakai hearing aids ok untuk bagi dia kuatkan lagi bunyi supaya dia boleh boleh dengar. Okay, yang lain you boleh baca sendiri ya. Eh? Right. So, five senses a gift. Ah, ini adalah kenapa kita mesti jaga kita punya sensory organ. Kamu boleh baca sendiri. Satu, dua, tiga, empat ini. Alright. Dan itu kamu boleh baca sendirilah ya. Eh? Kenapa penting kita mesti jaga lima organ ini. Ya, yeah? mata eyes, uh, the sense of sight, the sense of smell, the sense of hearing, the sense of touch and the sense of taste. Mesti. Kalau satu ini sudah rosak bagaimana? Uh, susahlah ya. Jadi kamu bersyukurlah. Huh? We are so grateful with the God gift to us. Uh, ini adalah kelebihan kita. The advantage of us, uh, we can uh, hear, we can see. Uh, can you imagine the people who, who is blind? Or who is deaf, dia tidak boleh tengok, dia tak boleh dengar, berapa susahnya. So we need to be grateful lah ya, kita kena bersyukur dengan apa yang kita ada ini sekarang. So you can read it for yourself for this one. Okay, now it's 12.27. Never mind. 
Uh, okay. So, I need you for your exercise here. Yeah? Uh, I need you to um, answer formative practice 1.3 on your exercise book. Is it okay? Boleh tak? Boleh ya? So, never mind. I will give the exercise later on on the telegram. Saya akan bagi pada di dalam grup telegram selepas ini. Ya, yeah, jika kamu ada, if you have any question, you can ask me on the telegram group also, right? So, now it's 12 to 28. Do you have any class after this? Anybody? Do you have any class after this? No. No class, right? Okay, never mind. So, we end our class, online class today. And then I will give the uh, exercise later on the Telegram group lah. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So you can leave the class right now. Thank you for your cooperation. We we'll meet you again next week, same time, same day. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye teacher. Bye-bye.